many Coupa software deals like this are there, Rishi, in your space? Hey, and that, that, thanks so much for having me. Look, I, I think there's there's no shortage of this. Um, you know, if, if I think about with, with Coupa, you have an asset that has a strategic value, that has good technology, uh, that, that hit a lot of speed bumps along the way and had some execution issues. and. Uh, maybe even lost a little bit of investor confidence uh, over over time, uh, and so you know we, we refer to these as kind of stalled growth companies, right? Where where just the asset isn't optimized, but there's still technology and strategic value. And we think that there's a number of them, right? We could look at a, you know a new relic. We could look at a box. Um, you know they're they're you know maybe DocuSign if the stock was a little bit cheaper. There's a lot of these businesses out there that we think would be great fits within private equity for all those reasons. What did what did you take away from some of the details on? This deal, the price, the fact that, that reports indicate there were multiple interested parties, looks like Vista was one of them, and Coma Bravo came in above it, and, and where this fits in in the PE portfolios. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think a number of things were surprising. I think number one was maybe the weakness of the business. Um, you know, and, and, and they, they talk about some of the forward-looking indicators. Um, it, it's, it's really tough, and I think it speaks to, you know, some of the macro pressures plus sales execution issues. Uh, that Coupa was facing, uh, but I think the, the the biggest surprise was just the amount of parties that were interested in in, in Coupa. I mean, it was a double digit number of parties, uh, both financial and strategic, that were looking at Coupa, and, and you know most likely it was a bidding war between Vista and Toma, and and, and Toma ended up winning. Uh, you know, in terms of where it fits in the portfolio, I think the the one that everyone's kind of leaning on right now is Toma Bravo closed Anaplan earlier. Uh, and yeah. so there's a fit of having kind of a back office systems where it's spend management and planning all together in one. And, you know, it's, it's obviously easier said than done, but it could be really interesting. Mike Santoli, what do you make of the, the deal price and, and you know, the, the, the argument that there are other software stocks in here that just look too cheap? There's no doubt that uh, private equity in this particular area, really dedicated to software and other kinds of uh, technology platform companies, are going to be active. The lucky ones, so to speak, like Coupa, are getting can get taken out at a, a decent valuation relative to sales compared to the way the rest of the group is, is trading. Although, let's keep in mind, the deal price is like one quarter of the stock's peak from back, you know, a year and a half or, or so ago. So that's that's the equation that you need to solve for, which is what's a management company willing to take on today's numbers relative to where the stock has traded in the past. So there's going to be more deals. If you look at the whole cloud space in general, uh, it is trading at valuations on sales not too far, in fact, below where uh, Coupa is being taken out of. The thing is, there's just not enough I don't think M&A capacity, private equity capacity, to really mop up, you know, dozens of these necessarily in, in short order, but certainly more than a few. You mentioned, Rishi, a few names. DocuSign is at the top of the list, at least in the market right now. It's up 9 percent today. Of course, it's been hammered. Who, who, who would you bet on? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, in terms of if I think about uh, companies that could get taken out, and you know, I, I would maybe expand that to not just private equity but strategics because I think really strategics are, are, are willing to make acquisitions here. Uh, you know, look, I, I think about companies like uh, no, not just DocuSign. I think about uh, Zoom, for example, would be a great fit in, in you know a larger portfolio of strategic vendors. Uh, Dropbox, I think, would be another one that I, I would look at and say this would make a lot of sense. Um, you know, I think about companies like New Relic where there is an opportunity to layer on uh, different pieces of technology. Technology at the observability puzzle, and, and that would be a great kind of private equity asset uh, to look at and do a lot of the turnaround behind the scenes. Uh, so as I really just kind of think out, I mean, there's there's no shortage of candidates out there, and these are all stocks trading significantly below uh, where Coupa is getting taken out for, um, and and you know just seems to make a, a lot of sense within either uh, financial or strategic portfolio.